Gaia 2, one of Ark's oldest overhaul mods. The map is filled with these godlike and mythical creatures such as the Angel Phoenix, the Königsval, Dragon with a hat on, uh, an Explode Dodo, and uh, Poop Dodo? Um, never mind that. There will also be mysterious creatures that will appear and take revenge on the dinos I murdered through this series. I will be spending 100 days here and during my time here I will have to fight 10 different bosses. The bosses are split into 3 different tiers with each of them having a different set of godlike power. The bosses range anywhere from the docile, infected dodo to the terrifying siren head and cadras the fearless, which will be on my mission to defeat in 100 days. So my friends, I just ask that you sit back and relax and enjoy the show and maybe subscribe. It's free. Finally, we are back again. Starting out on the beach, like usual, picking up some stone as we go, and punching some trees so we can make ourselves a pick. Meanwhile, I was looking through and learning most of the engrams, and then I saw a dodo oh, coming no, for me. No, no, no! I don't wanna die from explode dodo. They can they can dive! No way! <laughs> so I managed to get away from the dodo, so I started farming some materials for a base. But then again. The dodo couldn't leave me alone, it just couldn't. <laughs> I was basically just trying to farm some stuff and I got shredded by a bird. Okay! I didn't have a good start on the mod so far. Oh my god, why does it have to be terror bird right there? I saw that there was a dodo coming for me, but I didn't think it could reach me. Oh, okay, it can walk up the rock? Okay, well, I'm just, I'm just dying. I made some pans that would help circumvent some more deaths. Then I went ahead and placed down a temporary base for now. I cooked up some yummy me meat. I also went ahead and farmed some bushes. And when you farm the bushes with the Gaia tools, you get something called souls. Let me take a small moment to explain what these souls are for. There are 12 souls you can get from harvesting, which you need to craft the Gaia terminals. These souls can be gathered from using the deity pick, hatchet or sickle. Now you can only get the specific type from these tools, for instance. From using the pick you can only get the Zeus, Hades, Hephaestus and Poseidon souls. And from using the hatchet you can only get the Hera, Demeter, Athena and Hermes souls. And last but not least, the sickle. You can only get the Artemis, Apollo, Ares and Aphrodite souls. Also, we have the two dinosaurs we can obtain by killing specific types of dinos. I found a corpse of a dino containing a Gaia trank spear, which is gonna help out greatly. I made myself a storage container because this Gaia 2 stuff was extremely heavy to carry around. I had to kill some of the inhabitants of the beach for hide so I could have a bed. I was taming a couple of dodos I could use them to craft the egg which you need to power certain Gaia 2 terminals such as the Demeter and Hephaestus terminal. I realized you couldn't pick up the dodo, so I tried making them follow me up to my base. <laughs> I managed to get one of the dodos up in the base. I was so tired of this explode dodo, so I finally made a bed and placed it down. I made myself a bow and arrow, and I was gonna go out to see if I could kill something. I went down to the beach to grab some easy spoiled meat and keratin. Meanwhile, while I was exploring, a terror bird had decided to end me. I bowled it, and he got backed okay! up by his best friend. There's a trike here! Oh, why is there a dreadful trike there? I ran back to my body and then proceeded to go to a specific spot to get crystals so I could make some soul traps so I wouldn't have to worry it's about losing any dinos. I am kinda clumsy and I didn't think of the great fall so I almost died to gravity. A couple of dinos took notice of oh. me and came for me. But that was a sumi no. boy and I got oh, away. There's a corner here. I thought I got away at least. Can you stop? Oh my god, he's catching up. 
Men för fan. I figured since I couldn't survive for long in this area I might just get a flyer and move locations. I had a random Pterodon landing on my base that I knocked out and tamed. <laughs> then I found a Parasaur that I knocked it out so I could use it to get my hands on some easy narco berries. I found a divine Pterodon and I was in desperate need of an actual ride this time. I felt like something was behind me so I looked back and I saw a glowing dragon above me. My heart shook a little. I tried knocking at the Patera fast just in case. He got knocked out in the distance so I decided to go pick up my other Pterodon that was already no! tamed. My Pterodon got killed! But then it got killed and I got chased and killed by the demonic Terror Oh my god, it was too fast. At this point I was really pissed, especially on the Terror Bird, so I tried knocking it out or kill it. I don't know, but then my protective shield wore off and it killed me again. Oh my god, what am I doing? So when I got back to my body and picked up my stuff, this stupid terror bird proceeded to attack and kill my knocked out tame. I was so tired of it. After a horrible turn of events, I knocked it no out one, and tamed no, I'm gonna tame you. When I was gonna go back to base, there was a dreadful iguanodon that took notice of me, so I whipped out my bola and then killed it. And what like any normal arc player does when they kill something is that they harvest it. But this Sabertooth had other plans. I got my stuff back and I found my designated target and I proceeded to attack it with equal force. But it wasn't quite enough. I missed my bola horribly twice and then I just died because I'm terrible at this game. Something's attacking my base! Your Parasaur was killed! Oh my god! As you could tell, I didn't have a good day. I didn't give up, but I took out my anger on a few innocent diners on the beach. I found a new pterodon again and I tried knocking it out. I noticed my way of knocking stuff out is quite horrible. I saw a low level Maywing close to my tame terror bird, so I wanted to see if I could knock it out. Oh, hello! I poked at it once, and then in the middle of everything, a random wild terror bird came out of nowhere and attacked me. Nice. I saw that the Maywing got successfully knocked out, so I went over to feed it. Since I finally tamed the Maywing, I was ready to move on to the next location and escape this hellhole. But before I was gonna do that, I wanted to tame a few more dodos and farm some metal. I spotted a saber tooth that I killed me several times and it was time to do mutually assured destruction. And then I went over and farmed some high rich metal nodes so I could have better equipment and a maywing saddle. Look at that. I made myself a guy statue to use up the souls so I didn't have to carry them around since they were literally super heavy. And then it was finally time to go to the new base location. So I glided my way to the new base, which is very good for high rich materials such as metal and crystal. So now I was at my permanent base spot, so I placed down one of these Gaia statues, which is for making all of the terminals. One quick explanation first. There are 12 Gaia terminals in total. The most important ones are the Demeter and Hephaestus Thermals since they require a generator to power them. Like I explained before about the Gaia Dodos, you basically need their eggs so you can combine them with the souls you harvest so you can make the fuel. Now when I finally had the base in a safe location it was time to go farm other resources like oil because I needed it for the soul terminal and the gun. I went over to my old base location and grabbed the rest of the stuff from my base. Then I went ahead and placed down a mortar because I needed some cementing paste for the soul terminal and the gun. I also made some Demeter and Hephaestus eggs. I found a very good looking Jerboa so I knocked it out, shoved up some berries and then tamed it. I named him Caesar after our family dog. I placed down the soul terminal and turned on the unfertilized egg generation so they could produce some Demeter and Hephaestus egg so I don't have to manually make them anymore. Then I took my ducky out for a spin since I needed some wooden thatch but then I saw a scary looking dino. It was a Savage Rex which is one of the many dinos that exist in the Gaia mod. 
I was out gathering a lot of souls so I could make the rest of the remaining Gaia terminals that I will use for various other stuff such as making narcotic, tranks and etc. While I was out killing a bunch of dinos for some hide, one of the donors dropped a Gaia hatchet. The Gaia hatchet will give me 50% more resources and has more durability than an actual metal hatchet. I tamed a bunch of random dinos that I could have in the terminal so they could passively produce some random eggs. I powered on the Hephaestus terminal which is mostly for making some of the Gaia resources and bars. I made myself a crystal axe which will give me Gaia resources from metal nodes. They are quite heavy though. And then I made myself an Artemis terminal which is solely used for narcotic, basically taming related stuff. I was in need of some sort of upgrade for my starter bow so I made myself a crossbow with a bunch of arrows. While I was doing that I made a few of those new Gaia arrows which is way better than normal Trank arrows. I went on and made myself a Terra saddle so I didn't have the risk of losing my Maywing because I didn't know how scarce the spawns were just yet. I shouldn't have said that because then I just found myself a wild Maywing. I knocked it out and I left it there to starve. I went over to my friend Akiza who I tribed up with who was gonna help me with all of the building so I could focus on everything else. I was also very tired of being that unknown random guy so I gave myself a haircut so I could become myself. I saw a green drop that I could loot since we had the beacons mod all of the original beacon drops were replaced by Gaia drops. Then I went over to the Felgaro beach to see if I could get some more dodos and maybe a mo shops for some easy berry farming. I found a mo shops but I wanted some major berries so I went looking for some bushes. A raptor had decided to come for me and lots of other strange dinos. I wanted to try and kill it so I didn't have to worry about being backstabbed. I killed it and it dropped a lot of guy goods which I can use for various stuff like making armor and weapons. I fed it and tamed the alpha dodo and then proceeded to tame the moshops too. While I was scouting the beach for some viable tames, I saw these alpha heavenly moshops. I kinda wanted it. It did kill a saber tooth on its own so I definitely wanted it at this point. I heard something chasing me so I tried running away without knowing what was behind me. It was surprising a savage badger and he could not be bowled. There was also an explode dodo that was climbing all Love sorts it. of rock formation just to explode my face. I climbed and grappled my way out of his reach so I could shoot him and survive. I then tamed the Moshavs without any issues. Then I finally saw some sheep I could kill for that Beepus Mitus, which is really good for taming carnivores if you don't have kibble. That's a rock golem! I almost got squished by a golem nearby. The Maywing I knocked out earlier was so close of waking up so I had to feed it some meat so I tamed it. Then I could finally have a bread Maywing. When I got back to the cave I saw that Akisa had been very busy building the base and placing out all of the terminals. Akisa had prepared some kind of frogu elixir that gave me the legs and motion of a frogu. Sometimes it's kind of fun having tribe mates around because you don't see this often. I made a fabricator so we could eventually have some electricity in the base. I went out for a Nanki, but I found one and sadly it got knocked out in the water so I didn't bother him without looking for a new one. I came across a lonely egg in some bushes which turned out to be the guy that Deinonychus egg. It's gonna need some love and care which I will give it. I found myself a divine Anki which I was looking for so I could get some easy metal. I knocked it out after many many trank arrows. Not too far away from the Anki I also found this doad which would be very good for some stone farming. So when the doe and an Anki was tamed, I went and picked them up, then went home to my base. I figured, now it was time to actually get some proper protection, so I made myself a set of iron flak armor. We had a small problem. 
baby Donanicus was ready to be raised, but I noticed that our cuddle timer was off by a lot, so we put it on hold for now until we got an S plus nanny. The S plus nanny was in need of some cementing paste, but we were lacking on keratin, so I had to go out and look for some beached corpses. And then, guess what? I got backstabbed by an explode dodo and lost my mate in the process. I made myself a carcass grinder, which was supposedly good for harvesting keratin from dead creatures and good for gathering narco berries from trees. Akiza was fully busy building some kind of base for us. I wasn't too sure about the design, but it would work for now. <laughs> and then I went out trying out my carcass grinder, so I whipped it out. And you know what? I wasn't too impressed by the amount it got me. Akiza had built us one divine beaver dam, which passively produces divine pearls every 10 minutes, and a Gaia farm that spawns wildlife you can kill for meat and a bit of vanilla resources. Unbelievable. While I was gliding around looking for creatures, I made the biggest mistake of landing on the Explode Dodo beach and got caught by the explosion. He was hiding behind a rock, and this is the second Maywing I lost. As you guys know, I was assuming at this point, so when I got my stuff back and went back to base, I turned off the game for the day. The next day I started out by placing down an S plus nanny. Then I threw out the babies and put the meat on the nanny. Afterwards, since it was a new day, I went outside the base and then tried to go out and look for some more dinos. I came across a 150 max level May ring and then proceeded to knocking it out. And for some weird reason, when I went behind this rock, I lost the 150 May wing and I couldn't find it again. Then it was decided to get myself a net gun, so this would never happen again. I was unfortunately out of the obsidian. Ugh. I managed to get myself a low level May wing I could use to glide around on the map for now, until I had some better one. And then not too far away I found a max level May wing, so I Knocked it out and gave it my meat. After I got those maywings, I went over to the ice That's biome nice. and I finally found what I was searching for. A mass amount of obsidian. And then I could make myself a net gun with nets. There was a demonic snow out lurking inside the base entrance so I thought it was about time I tried taming it in case it would fly inside the cave and kill my dinos. Also, there's quite a lot of beaver dams around this part, so I joined some paste. This day was all about trying to get some good meat eaters, so I tried making myself some behemoth gates, but I noticed I was out of stone. So I took out the dough for a spin, and I was awfully pleased with how much it harvested. Oh wow! On my way to the grass area, where it usually spawns quite a lot of dinos, I came across a dreadful egg again, and obviously took it. I finally found myself a good high level rex and I proceeded to place down a trap. For some oddball reason there was already duty inside the trap. I didn't want to knock out the rex near the duty so I decided to kill it, unfortunately. Then I knocked out the rex so I gave it my meat and it became my new best friend. I figured since there were lots of pegasus around, I was gonna go grab some crops. Also tip, this is the area where you can get all the crops, if you didn't know. When I went back to the area again, my eyes caught something else that was way more interesting. And heavily griffin. While I was trying to knock it out, there was a rock column throwing rocks at me. I knocked out the griffin, but I had to lead the rock column away. I. What fun! I gave the griffin my meat and I just left him there. I found a max level pegasus not too far away from the griffin, and since I had the carrots ready, I was gonna see if I could tame it. Just a fair warning to you guys, usually it indicates in the corner when it's ready for a feed, but in Gaia 2 it doesn't really tell you. So I was like, screw it, let's just go to the griffin, pick it up and then pick up the rex on the way. This time I actually found the 150 and I was gonna try to tame it, but I was only gonna look at the animation instead. Come on, give us animation! 
and then feed. Yep, it worked. I just had to do it for a couple of times and then it was mine. I made myself one of these Gaia glider suits. It's apparently brokenly good and you can fly really, really fast across the map. I started the next day by building a greenhouse since we needed crops so I could make the narcotics. You also have to activate each crop plot manually. I made myself a beer barrel so I could power up my S plus gardener and then I went outside and I saw a Therusino that could be sweet to have for some easy wood and fiber. So I baited it, trapped it, knocked it out and left it to starve. I made myself one of these taming elixirs that will tame anything when force fed to a creature. When I was gonna go out and tame the Therusino, he wasn't being tracked anymore so I thought he woke up. When I got outside, a Chrono Rex had apparently had it for food. I placed out the trap just for him now instead. One thing to notice, the Chrono creatures can damage metal so I tried my best at knocking him out as quickly as possible. And then he was out. And to tame these you need a guy a time shard, so I gave him one, and then he was mine. I was out farming some narco bears on my shop shop while I got ambushed by explode so I just took them head on. The second dodo almost killed shop shop. There was a 130 demonic griffin I really wanted because it was a big upgrade. I heard something in the background getting chomped on and it was another dreadful rex. This rex took a really good interest in my griffin, but I kinda wanted them both, so I had to go back and grab some gates. I saw that the griffin was gonna die, so I kinda gave up on it and just focused on the rex instead. I threw down a temp trap for the rex and I tried taming it, but apparently it could just walk out of the gates. Did he just walk out? So I placed out gates again and then baited it in knocking it out and tamed it. Since I had a pair now of the Rexes, I could breed them and have an imprinted baby. I also forgot to mention that there is a Gaia Feeder, which is a trough. It will feed all of your creatures within a radius and it doesn't require any food inside it apparently. I also made one of these ant hills, which is needed for making the ant pheromones However, the pheromones are used for all of the boss summons. I then made the bee tree which requires rare flowers that can make dreaded honey which is also for the boss summoners. Then I went over to the swamp to get some more rare flowers so I could get some more dreaded honey. So the next day I made myself a Gaia DLC crafter. In this one you can actually make element dust and then turn it to unstable element. But it requires lots of steam berries. I then made myself a Gaia oil well. It can be placed anywhere and produce infinite amount of oil out of thin air. I took one of my Rexes out for a spin and I came across one of these Fissilicious sheep. When you kill them you get a token that you can use to craft yourself a temporary sheep. My friend Akiza doesn't play that much but she came on because I had a present for her. We also made one of these Gaia Sky Pools, which is basically grind for all this Gaia stuff. It will grind it and give you all of the Gaia resources back. Yes. Oh, okay. I also made one of these S Plus Hatcheries, but there was no way we could power it without any fertilizer. Akisa made a Gaia Portal, which is for summoning all of the bosses and forgotten creatures you can tame. I made a vanilla toilet so we could have infinite fertilizer. So we can make some refurt for the S plus hatchery. Oh my god. There was a dreadful Indominus close to our base, so I kind of wanted it, so I made a trap and let it in. 10 minutes later, and it was knocked out. I fed it the taming elixir, and it was all mine. I was quite curious about the damage difference between the Chrono Rex and the Indom, so I took out the Rex for a spin, and you know what? I wasn't too impressed by it. After that, I took out the Indom and the damage was way, way more impressive. It was also a much lower level than the Rex, but it still did way more damage than the Rex. 
We had placed out a magic well that produces magic water and then a wolf stem that will make us dreaded rabies which is also for the boss summoners. When I was flying around on my May wing for a bit, I heard some weird music and panic. That, that is very bad actually. I didn't know what it was, but apparently it was an Omega Vibrant. I could probably take it. It had 22,000 health. Oh Jesus. I decided to try killing it, but I also got attacked by a giant Dismodus. And surprisingly, it drops Kibble. The Vimer was very scary because it shoots poison balls, like the poison Vimer. The Vimer will drop his own DNA, which is used for the DNA slicer, so you can craft your own fertilized egg. I had a few interesting moments with the glider suits. <laughs> My friend Kisa wanted to try out summoning a forgotten Vibran, and we tried tranking it out. I ended up dying by some hot flames. I went back to base so I could go grab the gates so we can trap it instead. So then, we trapped it, we knocked it out, and we tamed it. On my way back to base, I found a 140 Giga that I wanted to try to see if I could tame. I started making a trap, but the Giga said no and came and tried to kill me. I killed myself with that Sumi Glide suit you get from the Gaia mod. I learned from my mistake and I placed out the trap much further away from the Giga this time. Taming this Giga took a day. Then, like every other edit, I knock it out and tame it. I came across a King Kai Ruku. And when you kill them, you get the summoner for your own tameable King Kai. I still never figured out what it's good for. <laughs> if you played Ark for a very long time, you know that this is kinda common in the game. This is Ark where logic is flawed and physics are imaginary. One quick update. We noticed that there was no way of finding good blueprints for long necks or crossbows at all, so we added the upgrade station to the server. But, you could only upgrade it to Mastercraft to keep it a bit balanced. To start off the day with, I went around in circle, farming all of the glorious metal inside a cave. Now that's a lot of metal. Now, it would be nice to have a chemistry bench so we can make the gunpowder a lot faster. But unfortunately, we were out of metal ingots and paste. So I jumped up on my indom and hit all the beaver dams while the metal was melting. I got the paste and the metal and now let's make a chemistry bench and place it down. I waited basically a whole day for all the metal to melt so I could make myself an industrial forge and then place it down. I felt quite bored so I went out for a walk and killing some dinos and then I saw a mantis. The mantis would be really cool to try out to gather some resources with. I went back to base to grab some Gaia bug repellent and some horns. Then I gave it the horn and tamed it. I forgot to mention, but sometimes creatures drop death worm horns that you can use to tame mantises with. I was quite stoked how amazing it was for gathering the souls. Oh goodness. I felt like it was very difficult getting into the base sometimes, so I made a cliff platform and placed it down. I started building a second greenhouse for some Gaia resources and steam berries, which we needed for making element dust. Personally, I'm pretty tired of editing all of these builds in. <laughs> and that's the second greenhouse done. It contains the Gaia resources and steam berries. It was finally time to get my own forgotten creature, that would be a Dodorex. It looked like the most entertaining one out of all of the choices I had. I pulled enough ingredients for three crafts, so hopefully one of them would be good. And then I went over to the snow biome where we summoned the first one. I summoned the first Dodorex and then I put down my trap. I was ready now for the Dodorex, so just let them come. The first one was a disappointment, so I killed it. The second one was a level 90, but I still didn't want it. I wanted a higher level one, so I killed it. 
third time's the charm, they used to say. But in this case, it was not. 25! Obviously, I killed it without any remorse. I went back to base to grab some more ingredients because I wanted a good high level one. The fourth summon was a joke, so I just drank it out. <laughs> I don't know why. Last but not least, I got oh. myself a 150. This is go. the one I really want. This one didn't want to go inside the trap, so I had to track him from my griffin. But like any other creature, he went down, and then he became mine. I named him Donald. What's so special about these forgotten creatures is that you can evolve them three times. I made a couple of these special summon elixir, which will summon a tame creature for you. It's very RNG what you get. I used the special summoners elixir, and I got myself a cursed Caprasuchus. I still don't know what to use it for. <laughs> a little bit later, I went out collecting drops, and I came upon a max level indom. So I went back to base so to grab easily. a trap. Okay. I'm not kidding. There, the trap what was placed out, them? and now I just had to lead it in. It took me quite yes, a while to knock it out, so let me save you guys this trouble. I fed it the taming elixir, and it was mine. Then I bred them together, since I already had a male in dawn. Flying around looking for drops, came across 150 dreadful giga. I wasn't sure if we needed it, but I tamed it either way. Taming an elixir, yep. I figured, since we already had a Giga, we'll let them make babies together. I hatched some eggs. I got I myself got some babies. Sure Luckily, is. I got triplets. It's all males though, so I'm guessing it's boss. We went out to finally take down our first guardian, which was a dodo. The dodo, however, summons other guardians around him to help him out, which makes dodo the most deadliest guardian. All of the stuff that drops from the dodo is pieces from all of the guardians which you need to be able to craft the guardian element which is used for the boss summoners. I took my shop shop down to the ab area to get some polymer and chitin which I was in dire need of. What the heck? The Karkinos just grabbed me off the mo shop but I am the mo shops. Attack him instead. Once I got some polymer and chitin, I was able to make the remaining paste for industrial cooker. We needed a cooker so we could brew up some mind wipes and other soups so we could make numerous things in the guide to table. I made myself some battle tartar and kalian soup which allowed me to make myself an adult elixir for my indom. The adult elixir makes him reach adulthood instantly. I had also made the max elixir. Oh my this God. elixir is made in Artemis terminal, which will reset any points you put into the dino and give your dino instant max post levels. Yeah, you know, I maxed die. out the damage on the indom because it's like a giga and only damage matters. So we really just had to try it out on a guardian dodo. With all of the ingredients you get from the guardians, you craft the guardian element in the Hermes terminal. My Donald was ready to evolve and go into level 2. I should have mentioned, it takes a very long time for it to actually evolve. Donald too. I went to the beach with my Indom to kill more guardians. Sometimes when you kill a guardian, it will summon an ether guardian, which is basically a mini boss. He will also drop a massive amount of Essence of Void, which is one of the recipes for the boss summoners. When my Giga was about to die, I soul bowled it, and then an Ichthy stole my only health potion I had on me for some odd what? reason. An Ichthy Ornus stole your strong health elixir! No! No, I need it for the boss! I'm screwed! I thought I was gonna die. But that made it either way. Nice. It was time to tame some sharks, so I could go into the water cave and grab some black pearls for some tech structures we were gonna have eventually. Then I went down in the underwater cave to grab some black pearls. On my way out of the cave, I tamed one of these Königsval. Looks like a that. unicorn. We were in desperate need of steam berries, so I could craft more element dust, so I decided to expand the greenhouse a bit. 
There was a bit of day jumpings here because I basically just let the gardener farm lots of steam berries. I farmed lots of metal and stone and I waited for babies to grow up really. But we're nearly there. There's only 10 more days for day 100 where I have to fight the siren head and Cadras the fearless. I started out by making a crap ton of elementals because we really needed a replicator and a tech scanner because we were on day 90. I took my boys out for a spin and went for another guardian dodo and killed it. Then an ether guardian spawned and we nommed the team like a king. I killed lots of these guardians on the beach. I basically overburdened myself so I had to fly back on my own. I started making all of the default artifacts which you basically need to make a genius elixir. Elixir makes it so you unlock every engram in the game, even tech. I'm too lazy to go do that. I went for a dodo god which turned out to be completely harmless to my indoms. Then I also took down a guardian turtle and a dodo which was next to the dodo god. Awesome. I went and killed a lot, a lot, a lot of guardian dodos, as many as I could find on the beach of Algaro. They kept on respawning too sometimes. I had a strange encounter with the rock trick who likes to what? defy gravity and literally walk in thin air. Back at base, there was a dreadful Theresino outside the cave so I kinda thought it would be nice to have one of them for some easy wood. So I trapped him and then torped him out and then just left him. I went out looking for Yudis because that would be very helpful for doing the Gaia bosses with its courage war buff. I was gonna try looking for a pair of them so I could breed them and have an imprinted one. I had some difficulties taming this uni, since an Omega Vimer literally just spawned next to it. Of course, it spawns a boss here. I had enough of this, so I jumped off my Indom and netgun the Yuri, and then killed the Vimer. And then I proceeded to knock out the Yuri. I forgot my muttons, so I flew back to the base and picked up the Therosini on the way. The Yuri was still alive, so I just gave it some meat and I left the render distance so nothing would attack it. I then went out looking for a high level female and what do you know, it was one really close to our base after I searched the entire snow biome. What? So I knocked out this female, I gave it some meat and then what do you know, I just left it like usual. I went over and picked up the male. I went over to the vibrant trench to see if I could find some eggs. I okay, couldn't find any. But I found right some now. weird looking Byrons. Especially this Alpha Mighty Banshee Queen. I didn't realize it could scare my Indom and I was quite surprised. Oh, there we go. Oh, it keeps scaring my Dino. I have a trick. Okay. Ooh. That was scary. After that encounter with the Byron, I had enough of the Byron Trench, so I went to pick up the female. Back at base, all of the dust was made, so I could make about 200 unstable elements, which should be enough for making a replicator generator and a transmitter. It was finally time to make myself a genius elixir, so we could have some tech stuff. It's kinda late in the game, but it's better than no scanner at all. Server. First off, I made the replicator and then I placed it down. Then I also make the tech shiny and the transmitter so I can have the scanning capabilities. I took my dreadful Therisina out for some wood farming so we could have some more divine pearls. But honestly, bro, it felt so broken. Like we have three times on the server and it did not feel like it. I had to make an S plus tech bridge so we could get the Therencino up the base because he was a very thick boy. I filled up all of the beaver dams so they could all passively produce the divine pearls we need for the boss fights. 
To start off the day, Akiza had placed out one of those Gaia clams that magically produces silica and black pearls, but the drawback is that it spawns creatures around it and attacks you. I picked up a few dinos that had grown up so we could use them for the boss battles. I took my Therosino out to the swamps because we were out of rare mushrooms for the mind wipes. My Donald was ready to evolve into level 3, but I was AFK for this bit. We had grabbed all of the stuff with the first Terra bosses and then went to our usual spot for summoning creatures. All of the dinos were leveled up and saddled and ready for battles. First boss up was the infected dodo. It was quite harmless to the indoms. We killed it with breeze. Apparently when you kill any of the bosses they explode and damage everything in the area including when you're riding your dino. Next up was the furious monkey. I was not afraid of Monkey, he was very small and harmless. There you go. Go attack. Okay, I'm moving away. Okay, broke my armor either way. I was still apparently close enough. Last but not least, okay, it was awful the awful bat. bat. I felt like this was gonna be okay, easy and we were gonna pull through this. Well, oh, we did no, kill it, I but I died in the process. <laughs> oh, no. After I went back to base and repaired my armor, we were ready to summon our next tier of bosses, tier 2, and first up was the fearful Yuri. It had a life drain ability, which means you have to kill the boss as fast as possible. We killed it, but I was too far away to get any of the stuff from the Yuri. But hey, I avoided breaking my armor and died this time though. While we were waiting for more garden element to be created, I went out and I found one of these Gaia bunnies. This particular bunny can produce any random fertilized egg and drop it and you can basically raise it and have whatever you get from the bunny. It will electrocute you when you shoot it though. Apparently Kiza got lucky with one of her summons and she got herself a Courtney's kangaroo. This one is really special because it will heal dinos over time in a very huge range. We were finally ready to take down the Forsaken Dodorex, which is the second boss in tier 2. So I lined up all of the dinos for the fight, and then we killed it. The Gigas took quite a lot of damage, but no one died luckily. Next up was the third boss, which was the Rotten Dragon. This one was kinda annoying because it was basically just flying all over the place. Uh. Please stop flying around. Oh Jesus. Then I went back to base to repair my gear once again. Oh. Up last on tier 2, it was the poisonous lizard. I was AFK for just a little bit, but we managed to kill it with Breeze. And yes, I forgot about the boss exploding, so my armor got destroyed once again. It was finally day 100, and we still haven't beat any of the three remaining bosses in tier 3. So first up was the Bionic Lysrix. It did some kind of snow attack, but it didn't seem like it did too much. The inbounds and gigas were just too good for Gaia. The tier 3 bosses can enrage if you don't kill them fast enough, so make sure to bring a lot of tames for the fights. Also, I forgot to mention, but all of these bosses drops element and Gaia leaves. The leaves are used to make the garden armor set, but I did not have enough time to make it since we were on day 100. While we were waiting for the last garden element to be made, I went out and I came across this demon vibrant. I didn't know what to use it for, but it was really good looking. I knocked it out, I tamed it, and I named it Schmaug. I noticed something was wrong with the fire breath. It didn't wow, seem like no it tagged them sometimes with the breath. Alright, so I went back to the snow biome now since we had enough for one of the bosses for now. First up was Cadras the Fearless, so we summoned it and the Giga started chomping it like oh, they were starving. Oh, 
weirdly enough, when we summoned it in, Carrot Grass didn't attack back, which was very on, but we killed it. I guess I got caught in explosion. All of the boss fights are very anticlimactic. But either way, there was literally just minutes left before midnight, and the challenge would have failed. So we summoned in the Siren Head finally. We didn't know any of his attacks, and were super scared. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, what is this? Oh jeez. This does not look good! Okay. Oh my god, my whole armor. What was that? Like Carabras, the Fearless, the Siren Head was having difficulties attacking fast the Giga, which was great. It was being pushed into corner like me. Also, apparently when Akiza teleported to the arena, she also teleported my Schmaug, who stood next to the teleporter, and he got caught in the blast. What? Did you teleport it in? You used you used the base teleporter in too. Yeah, I did. I was just gonna worry about not dying. Oh god! Ah. Here comes the big meteor. Boom! But then again, we finally made it just right before midnight, and that's another hundred days complete. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my second 100 days video. The next 100 days is Pugnacia, since it has been requested a lot in the comment section from my video. 2023 is gonna be a good year because I have lots of plans for my other videos. Thanks for watching, consider liking and subscribing, it's free after all. I wanna give a special thanks for Prome for originally creating this mod and Acura for reviving it and creating Gaia too. Also, if you enjoyed my Primal Fear video and are looking for a Primal Fear server to play on, my buddy Emerald and Toast has a wonderful server up with amazing admins to help you every need. Discord link should be in the description.